London is the third biggest tourist destination in the world and because of that has thousands of tourist traps. So today we're going to be putting each tourist trap on a tier list going from F tier which is a minor tourist trap. Yeah. Nah, nah not tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm coming tomorrow. To S tier which is violent tourist traps. It's still here gonna do it. Bro, stop it. Yo, yo. First place was the souvenir shop. Another example would be these really fun shops over here. Yeah, very, very sharp. Shop, yeah? yeah, yeah, see, uh, you think it's, it's good to shop here? Yes, very good shop. Tamania, voila, voila. Not How much? Eight, eight pounds. That, very good price, pounds. yes, sir. That, that, that's very, very good. good price. Eight that's pounds good is price. good. Eight yeah. pounds, alhamdulillah. Yeah. Let's take each and six for ten, yeah? Right, very good, very good price today. All the days. Yeah, so it's everything discount? Yeah, discount. Everything, every, everything, discount. everything. Have a nice You're day, yeah? You're shopping 100 pounds today, is it? Nah, no, tomorrow, 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 I'm coming tomorrow. Why are you lying? <laughs> Speaking of traps, you guys are now trapped to subscribe and you can't leave unless you do that. YouTube's been telling me most of you pricks aren't doing that, so get to it. Next time. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> you heard him. He said, he said, give me five pounds for video. <laughs> get out of it. I can understand the appeal for buying souvenirs to take home, but do not buy them. They are extremely overpriced. And if you aren't convinced yet, just listen to what this guy said. Voila, voila, not How much? much? Eight, Eight pounds. Very that's good price. Pounds. Yes. He's chatting shit. Don't listen to it. Yeah, that's that's me over there. The souvenir shops are overpriced, but they can get away with F tier. But why make this video anyway? The reason I'm making this video is because scams have been increasing like crazy over the past couple of years. It's getting very difficult to tell the difference between what is a scam and what isn't. Excuse me. Hi, how you doing? Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. So the prices. Want to make a video? Yeah. Can we? No, you can't. Why not? Pay for what? If you make a video, if you... you want me to pay to film in public? No, but without, you know, the paying is my part. It's video, it's still doing video, it's Okay, move out the bike lane real quick. You, you can't oh. make a video. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's not allowed. Okay, okay, so you don't want to be filmed? It's still he gonna do it. Bro, stop it. Yo, yeah. So, JR, <laughs> cameraman always got G-checked <laughs> by a rickshaw guy. <laughs> we'll do a quick interview of the cameraman. <laughs> so, me and Bakir, we pull up. We go up to the guy, we ask him. He was going to ask him a question. And he just gets pissed. He's we already vexed. We just show up. He's like, you need permission to film. And he says, oh, you can only film if we pay. He just stepped up to me for no reason. He's going to go around Bakir. Coming up to me saying, you can't film me. It's during right on Remembrance Day. It's like half the scams are not even here today. <laughs> They're not even there. They're scared. You haven't even seen the flower lady. You haven't seen any other people with the little cups. Uh -huh. The bro thinks he can G-check me in the middle of Westminster. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Huh? Who is that? I'm not recording you, bro. These motherfuckers were so aggressive, but if you think this is bad, try going deeper in London like Soho, where they don't even give a price. The rickshaws are also like one of the biggest scams. Uh, no, man, they are fixed price, and uh, people are coming here asking. We just provide them the price, yeah. the price list, yeah. Some some are over overcharging sometimes, people, but mostly that happens in the center where the guys don't have some price list, yeah. yeah and they just come with a price from their they had at the end yeah and uh, uh, the customers don't want to pay if they don't want to pay that yeah then that's that's fine they they, yeah. they can say oh I, i'm not paying that much yeah, yeah. yeah but usually they tell the price at the end so that's why they're right. thinking uh, that, that this business is one of the biggest scam here right the rickshaw trap fucking violent as you can see because of the aggressiveness these pricks have i have to give them st what's like yeah. the biggest scam in london one of the most common one people here on the bridge playing ball the biggest scam i think about the oldest scam in the world they're playing the free cups game here yeah do you know the game no no what's nah. that this game being mentioned over and over is actually pretty simple a person puts a ball in one of the three cups on the table the cups are then mixed around and you have to guess which cup has the ball if you guess it right you get your money back and then some if you guess it wrong they keep the money people think they can win this but let's see what this guy has to say about it but you, you never guess it but you, it's you never, you never right never. right and that, that's why those guys aren't here today because the memorial and stuff like that probably probably yeah they're not here today i don't know why actually uh, last week and i also didn't sense seen them for for one day but previously they've been nearly every every single day they played here i don't know maybe there's much more police now i'm not sure what's what happening now i couldn't find 
anyone. This is day two and we still couldn't find anyone who was actually playing that fucking game. Every time we asked, they're like, oh yeah, they, they, they left an hour ago, they left two hours ago. I just never see them motherfuckers. They're a myth. They're a legend. They're not even real. From what I was told, they always roam in groups of like 15 to 20 people and they have spotters who spot out any cops that are in the area. That's what I've been told. I would I would give find the ball game a tier. Behind me is the American candy store that you'll see all across London. Even though these stores look great from the outside, allegedly they're big on money laundering <laughs> they charge you seven pounds for a bag of crisps this place is massive i did not think this place would be as big as it is that, bro? these shops are just real life clickbait they show amazing and rare products but you can find similar products for cheaper oh shit copyright music biggest scam you've seen in central london biggest scam i don't know i mean how long i mean you work here right so you must have seen some like you know scammy shit going on no 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 i don't know so do you think Central London doesn't have scammers? No, I don't know. I just uh, just one week. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Thank you. The American candy shop itself, I wouldn't really say it's S tier. I would say more like B tier. Like you're getting ripped off, but like you know the prices beforehand already. You just want to spend money for the sake of spending money. That You're rich, hey, you're rich. But if you're watching this video, you're broke as shit. So never mind that. Two pounds. Alright, here. Thank you. Nah, we're, we're just walking around. I'm good. I'm good. Ah, uh, yeah. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to call them to, for the roses lady, or also known as the motherfuckers who give you the items first and then charge you the price later. They fucking, they're, they're so nice and they're so innocent. But from what I've been told, if you flash cash in front of them, they will snatch it and run off. Like the guy from yesterday who was offering me the balloon sword. If I took out cash, he would have snatched that bitch and run off. I'd give the roses lady seat here. We're trying our luck in Leicester again. Pikachu ain't here. Lady giving out roses ain't here. Fucking Darth Vader's here, but he's being nice. London, why are we turning over a new leaf just when I decided to film a video about how corrupt the tourist places are? What the fuck? All right, so right now we're in Chinatown. Well, one of the biggest scams are the restaurants because they're overpriced as fuck. Some of the restaurants here are actually on the cheaper side, but not only that, there are two main scammers that we're not seeing today. It's the Pikachu that walks around all the time. You take a picture with him, he's gonna ask, he's gonna demand money. And Rose's lady, she hands you a rose, she looks at you, smiles, hands you a rose, and then starts charging you for it, even though she just gave it to you. The people don't want to be on camera, so I'm just gonna hand them the mic instead. So what's the biggest scam you've seen in central London? You see them souvenir shops? Yeah. 100% those. Yeah, those? Yeah. Right. Oh, what are you? <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, you know what it is? Freddo's. What? Freddo's. Freddo's? The 5p chocolates that went up to like 30, 35p right now. <laughs> oh, the chocolate. Oh, oh, my days. That's the most I could get out of people. Most of the scammers that were gone, probably because of the Memorial Day. But yeah, that's the end. Don't get scammed. Cut. <laughs>